in this tutorial we gonna retrieve the data of lap number and track number which we we can't able to do in that previous tutorial so in this tutorial first first of all we need to uh, fill some data in the labs table so that it can able to uh, identify that which track number and lap number in reserved uh, and in uh, available so we gonna add 24 table uh, 24 columns uh, each each lap number has five track number okay so five into five twenty five so I gonna make five lap and each lap has twenty five uh, to five tracks so now we have to make twenty five rows Now first of all one 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 so we have created lap number now we will create that uh, track number. Now we'll fill the status as avail in every field cause no any pa uh, power card has happened or we have registered yet. So we'll fill all the status to available. Just paste it. now save it and again in the new parking page we gonna make one method that is get track number for getting the track number and lap number So here will we create our method. So now we will create our method here. So now in the try tri block <coughs> just copying it and paste right here. Now we'll call the SQL query. here uh, in between plus plus uh, we gonna call a string that is uh, I am declaring it globally so that it will be same for all the methods methods call that is string str equal to well string str2 equal to reserved now we have declared it globally now we'll do our next so we will 
put here str because we want um, track number and uh, lap number and track number which is now available for parking so that's why we will be calling eval in the string so I have just called the string right here in our table the name is uh, we are calling lab number and track number so in the first field we are calling lab number so the string should be lab and as in the database now we will put in the text field so that text field is number 4 so here same for the track number add to text will file and this should be track number as in the database so it's trcl ok now problem uh, actually uh, here I uh, bro uh, written wrong track track number spelling and in the park park table and the re release table I used track and here track all this I miss the K in the lab so no problem I uh, will handle it so here it's okay and here it will be track and trcm not key now the process is completed now we will uh, we'll close the resources which we have called using sql query if we want close it will show uh, it will give you some ex exception during the runtime uh, query execution so that's why we close the resources so that it uh, it won't give you any exception so we'll use finally keyboard and then try just copy it and paste it right here now close rs is re result and PST is prepared statement now it has 
has been closed now we'll also going to insert insert some data into the into the lab table labs table cause uh, if we are inserting in the parked parked uh, there there should be a lap number and track number which is fetched from our labs table so to reserve to reserve a parking we need to change the status of one one uh, frequently uh, first column of a row to reserve that will show that uh, one parking has been reserved in our database so that it will want uh, want uh, want um, uh, see you that uh, that the uh, that the status is reserved cause in every time uh, you need a new parking slot for the booking so that's why uh, it will show you the new one which is not right now reserved uh, re released so it will show you only the parked parking so that's why uh, we will change the status of avail to reserve during one insertion okay so we'll one uh, will also insert one more table into into the labs uh, labs table we already inserted in one park parked and as well as we have to insert in labs also so uh, i'm going to made one uh, make one method is filled four is the lap number so that's that's why we are fetching data from that text field to string a1 just copy it change the text field number also We are going to update the status cause. Uh, we have already entered the whole a uh, whole data, so that's why we are going to update, not insert. Cause data data are already there. That's why we are doing update. str2 that is our reserved as we are already defined in uh, globally is a1 and track and also sorry we have used this keyword in the column so that's why we we'll use this keyword track and the query and 
execute the query now we will call this method after insertion now uh, I am going to run this project first time let's do it it's <coughs> 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 so exception called in the loading uh, in login function uh, login page uh, we need to put some message so we have a que uh, query error First of all, we need to complete this uh, this login page. So after that, it will work. Okay. So in next tutorial, I am going to complete the login page as well as a loading page so that complete project will run seriously. Seriously. Uh, now, cause um, the main class is uh, I am setting the main class as login and uh, cause it's working on new parking that's why I need to complete the project first so that it will run as serial line G thank you for watching this video hope you like this in the next tutorial we are going to complete the loading page and as well as login page also so thank you